I've been thinking about why I struggle so much with coming up with content to share like the tools that I have because I'm very happy to share my tools. Like it's no secret. I mean, I can even list the, every book that I've read. You'll find the tools there. It's really not like um, a major thing uh, for people who are wanting to really develop their mental skills, mental strength, mental performance, mental fitness, whatever you want to call it. And I've been like really struggling with it. And I realized today the reason I struggle with it is because it feels like irresponsible. Not because I'm sharing information, because very often what the, the essence of what happens in a coaching session. So when someone I'm sitting with someone and we're discussing something, if they just started talking and I gave them the tool, very often it wouldn't work. Because the thing they're talking about in the beginning, the problem that they think they have, very often is not the problem. For example, I had a client who said that they wanted to work on, you know, getting more self-confidence. So cool, easy, a lot of people ask for that. We're sitting down, we're chatting about stuff. Obviously, I can't tell you who or what, and I've changed a few things because of confidentiality. Um, but the more we're delving into things, it's not actually self-confidence this person needs. They're just feeling, so, so they're feeling insecure and their go-to thinking is, I need confidence. So please give me a tool for confidence. Now, if I had to give them something for confidence, it would not solve their problem because they don't actually need confidence. They need to feel secure. And in order to feel secure, they needed to come up with a routine that made them feel secure. So they had a sense of security and a sense of control. Now, once they had that, it had nothing to do with confidence. But what it does is it starts creating evidence that you're in control, which makes you feel better. Yes, yeah, yeah, agrees with me. And once that happens, you feel confident as a, like a secondary outcome. So confidence is not the thing that she needed. She needed that security. So if I had to give you tools about confidence, the, and this is, this is what I think bugs me so much. Very often we, str we struggle because we're, we're looking at the superficial or the surface problem that we're facing. And then we're, we're striving for surface problem solutions. And then nothing is helping. There's no lasting change. We don't feel a, a huge shift. And that's part of my issue with, with sharing tools. So if you're a type of person like me who loves learning and is always looking to develop themselves, and maybe you're finding like some of the stuff is not speaking to you, it may be because you're looking for the incorrect tool. And this is why coaching helps because when you come into a coaching session, we uncover what that real thing is, what the underlying thing is. Is it that you're telling yourself something? Do you have a belief about something? Do you have some kind of definition of the thing that you're doing or the thing you're striving for, that's not actually what you want. There's so much that we uncover uh, in a coaching session and then we can match it to a tool for that real problem, that beautiful underlying core thing that is getting in your way. So that's my video for today. I hope you have an amazing Friday and I will share again with you as it comes, if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about when it comes to mental skills or mental performance, mental strength, mental fitness, please do ask me because I would love to share. I just don't know what people want to know. Cool. Bye.